This is Maine's tallest mountain. The Indians called it Katahdin, which meant greatest mountain. So if you say Mount Katahdin, you're actually saying Mount Greatest Mountain. That's kind of redundant. Hi, I'm Bob Duchesne. Welcome to Bob Duchesne's Bird's Eye View. It's mid-November. Maine is the most forested state in the nation, so we have an ungodly number of warblers and flycatchers and thrushes and all those songbirds up in the Maine woods all summer long. But they all go south. So if you really want to find the hardy birds, the ones that are here all winter, come on up and join me. So this is a logging road in the North Main Woods. Walking dead ahead of me, Chisuncook Lake, Umbazuskas Lake, uh, behind me, Chamberlain Lake, Tim, uh, Tilos Lake. So the reason I'm here is because there's a lot of black spruce in this area. And that's what I look for when I'm looking for woodpeckers. Blackback woodpecker and three-toed woodpecker. They both love a lot of old stands of black spruce, especially if it's been disturbed by logging or flooding. So that's what I look for. A little advice about birding the North Main Woods. These are all logging roads. Logging trucks always have the right of way from both directions. Don't park on corners. Don't park in the middle of a bridge to look at the view. Don't stop suddenly in the middle of the road when you can't see traffic coming just to watch a moose. Get out of the way. Logging trucks have the right of way. Gas. Make sure you get a full tank before you come in. Spare tires. These roads are rough, and a spare tire is not uncommon up here. If you've got a spare spare, bring that too, because I will bring two spares now and then. Uh, make sure you've got a good map, because all these logging roads look alike.
Okay, that was kind of funny. The boreal chickadees were making all kinds of noise, and a northern goshawk came in to see what the commotion was, took one look at me, and took off. Oh, thank goodness. For a moment, I thought I was lost. In front of you, Round Pond. Behind you, Chamberlain Lake. Downstream, Telos Lake. And beyond that, the spectacular mountains of Baxter State Park. All right, two days, two nights in the North Main Woods. How do we do? Well, let's see, there are target species with the boreal specialties that are up here. We had three blackback woodpeckers. Pretty sure I heard an American three-toed woodpecker, but I can't count it because I didn't see it. Boreal chickadees, at least 20. Gray jays. Gray jays were, every, I've never seen it like this before. Gray jays were marauding. Uh, family groups had gotten together to form flocks of six, seven, eight at a time. And they were all vocal, so that was pretty cool. One spruce grouse. Expected more. On the other hand, I got 15 ruffed grouse. I stopped counting crossbills after about 100. Most of them were white-winged. There were some reds, but I really didn't see those particularly well. Uh, pine siskins. I stopped counting those after 1,000. There were some American goldfinches up there. Purple finches, I had a bunch of them, especially this morning, and three of them were making that little blue-headed vireo sound they make sometimes. I don't hear that often, but they were really doing it this morning. Raptors. Um, had the one northern goshawk this morning, just had a bald eagle fly over uh, River Genus Gorge. At my picnic table last night, had a bark of a saw-wet owl, just once. Unusual birds? Um, Brown creeper, that's not unusual, but he popped up this morning. Uh, snow buntings in the road yesterday, just a couple of them. Had one robin up in the north woods. Of course, our robins are tough. They beat the snot out of southern robins. Few ravens, but not really that many. No crow. I don't remember seeing or hearing a single crow this whole time in the woods.